Hey guys, let's learn how to add yourself to a celebrity photo. This method can be used to add any person to any photo. We are going to use Canva and this is going to be an easy, simple tutorial. If you want to see more easy and simple Canva tips and tricks tutorials, please do subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. I'm at canva.com and I have two pictures here. I have my main picture, which is a picture of beautiful Jennifer Lopez, and that's where I'm going to add a person to. And, and a second picture, it's a picture of the person. So let's get to work. First, I'm going to select the picture of the person. Then I'm going to click edit. And here I'm going to use this tool called magic grab. So I'm going to click on it and Canva is going to analyze this picture and figure out the objects in this picture. Then I'm going to click on the person and I'm also going to click on this vacuum cleaner because it, it belongs to the person, the person is interacting with it. So I'm going to click on it as well so that Canva uh, perceives this as one object. And then when I see that it's all purple, I'm going to click grab. And what's happening now, Canva is separating this object from the rest of the photo. So we will be able to work with the, with the object itself. You see now it's a new layer and I can move it around. And Canva did a great thing. It has filled the background in this picture, but that's for another tutorial. We do not need uh, the background picture anymore. So I'm going to click on the background picture and I'm going to click delete. And you see that I have the person here now. And now I'm going to do a similar thing with the background picture, with our main picture. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm clicking edit, magic grab. Then I'm going to click on Jennifer and also click here just to make sure that Canva selects everything. And then I'm going to click grab takes a few moments while Canva is analyzing the picture and separating the objects in it. But now it's done and I can move Jennifer around. And we also have our background, background picture as a separate layer. So now we have three layers. We have the background picture, we have Jennifer, and we have the person that we are going to add into this picture. Next, I'm going to position the people in the picture the way I want them to be positioned. Uh, so I want our guy to be behind Jennifer a little bit and also maybe make him a bit larger. Okay, it looks good already, but we are going to go an extra step. We are going to add shadows into the picture and shadows will immediately make it look more realistic. So first let's add the shadow to Jennifer. So clicking on Jennifer and then I'm going to click edit again and shadows and I'm going to select drop shadow and let's make it so that her shadow is on the wall on the left I'm going to use this angle setting yeah like something like that not too far less intense more blur yeah like that and now we need to add it's a very similar or exact same shadow to our guy. Click on, on the man and drop and go to the left, less intense and a bit more blur. Okay, now their, sh their shadows are pretty similar and you can see it immediately makes the picture more realistic. Again, manipulate the size a little bit, see how it looks natural. And I think it looks good and a pretty funny picture. And now I'm just going to download it by clicking share, download, download. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please do subscribe to my channel. There are a lot of tips and tricks for you.